Today we're going to be looking at the 2020 U.S. Open Silver question, social distancing. So in this question, what's going to happen is we're going to have a bunch of cows who have also gotten COVID-19. So these cows are going to be on a 1D number line, and on this number line, we're going to have various sections that are going to have grass. So being cows, Farmer John's cows are going to want to eat grass. So what's going to happen is we want to place them in various locations in the grass patches. So because of COVID-19, what's going to happen is we want to find the maximum value of D or the maximum distance between the closest pair of cows. So let's look at the code for this question. The way we're actually going to solve this question is going to be through a binary search. And we're going to binary search on the value of D. So the way the binary search works, just a quick recap, is I'm just going to have a range and I'm going to split it in half. I'm going to run a checking function or do some kind of check to see whether this is valid. And then depending on whether I need to go smaller or go larger, I'm just going to go. So the way we're actually going to be doing our binary search is we're going to run a function that's going to return true or false called our checking function. So the way our binary search is going to work is we're going to have a range. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to find the middle value and then we're going to run a checking function. So for this specific program, what's going to happen is since we're binary searching on the value of D, I'm just going to check whether or not the value of D is able to plausibly create a arrangement for the cows. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have our checking function. And then in this checking function, we're going to check to see whether or not we can place our cows. So the minimum distance between any two cows is D. If it is, we're going to return true. And if not, we're going to return false. And then if it returns true, we're just going to go into the bigger section, split that in half. If it returns false, we're going to go into the smaller section, split that in half. So that's the basic idea of the binary search. The next part is going to be the checking function. So since we're doing a binary search, we can simplify this question a lot. So what we can notice is if I have a range, what I'm going to do is since when we call this checking function, we already know that the minimum distance between any two cows is going to be D. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the distance between every cow D. So for example, I'm going to place my first cow at the very edge. I'm going to go D distance, place the next cow, D distance, next cow, and so on. And the reason we're going to do this is because if this distance were any smaller, then it wouldn't be, the minimum distance wouldn't be D. It would be whatever this distance is. And if the minimum distance was larger, then it obviously wouldn't be optimal because if I place a cow here, the next cow is going to have less room compared to if I placed it here. So the optimal distance is obviously going to be D. So between any two cows and between every two cows, we're going to place D distance. So what I'm going to do is, let's say I have this kind of number line. I'm going to place the first cow at the beginning of the patch. I'm going to look for D distance, place the next cow. And then if I run out of room at the end of this patch, I'm just going to find the next distance possible. So if the next D distance is smaller than the start of the next patch, then I'll just start it at the next patch. If it's larger, I'll start at D distance. So I'm going to place the next cow at max current plus D distance, or I'm going to place it at the next starting point. So I'm going to find the maximum value from between current plus D or between the next starting point. So in this way, we can basically place our cows on and on. So I'm going to say, okay, I could place it in the next D and then I'm going to compare these two, place it here, keep going, compare these two, place it here and so on and so forth. And since there's a certain number of cows that I need to place down, I'm just going to go until I reach the end. And if by the end, I've managed to place down the number of cows I need to place, then I'm going to return true. And if not, I'm going to return false. So that's pretty much the algorithm for this question. Let's go look at the code. So I've set up a bit of the program. We're going to type def long long as ll, which just means I'm going to be writing ll in place of long long. I also defined f and s as first and second. So if you see the words f and f or dot f and dot s, it just means dot first and dot second. So we're going to read in the input. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to create a vector of pairs, and this is just going to be the uh, numbers. So what this is, is it's going to be the grass patches. I'm going to sort the grass patches by when they begin, 
and then we're just going to binary search. So the binary search code I have right here is a little bit different. So a typical binary search code would work here too, but this is just binary search condensed down. So I'm going to run the checking function like we talked about earlier. And the checking function is going to return a Boolean value. So the value of target is just going to be the value of D that we were talking about earlier. And then I'm going to read in as a parameter the grass patches. Obviously, you could just make it global, but in this case, I didn't. So I'm going to create a couple values. I'm going to create my current position as v0.f which basically just means I'm going to start at the first grass patch and at the first location. And then I'm going to have I and amount. So amount is just going to be the number of cows that I've already placed down. And then I is going to be the current index of the grass patch I'm on. So I'm just going to say while I have not placed down n cows, I'm going to check to see whether or not my position is less than the start of the next patch, which basically just means I need to move on to the next patch. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check whether or not my position is inside of a patch. If it is, I'm going to add the number of cows. I'm going to add 1 to the number of cows. And then I'm just going to change my position by adding D. So this whole process here is just adding another cow. And then if not, I'm going to add 1 to I. So I'm just going to move on to the next grass patch. So if I ever goes out of bounds, what this basically means is I have not placed down enough cows, but I've already finished all of the grass patches. So in this case, I'm just going to return false. If I manage to break out of the while loop, I'm going to assume I've managed to place down n cows, and I'm going to return true. So the binary search is going to call the checking function, and at the very end, I'm just going to return the maximum value of D. And that's the end of our program.